Hello, this is Mr. Leapforth. And I'm Morelli, and this is geometry class. I am going to draw a pyramid. You're like a robot. I am going to draw a pyramid. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, first you do a triangle. Oh, that was great. You're doing great. And then you do a line here. Okay. Cool. And then you do a little dots here. Oh, I like how you're dashing it because you can't really see it. So you're trying to create as best you can like a parallelogram there on the base. Yeah. This is probably the hardest one to draw. Cool. And then you can draw a line here. And that one's dashed too. Cool. And this is the base. Then you draw a line here. And that's your pyramid. That's your pyramid. And I like how you shaded the base. That put some dimensions on there. So cool. Thanks. All right. So that's a pyramid. Who's next? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Who's next? Kyle Hamburger. All right. Kyle's up. You're going to do a cylinder for us. All right. I'm Kyle. I'm going to be doing a cylinder. Super easy. All you got to do is just draw two ovals and then connect them. That was kind of bad. Ah, that's pretty good, man. And then you have, you know, you just have the radius and the height. So, yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Um, good. <laughs> What's next? Oh, is uh, this the sphere? Yeah. We got to be careful. <laughs> this is our second recording now. All Come right. on, Luis. Do us proud, man. So I'm doing a sphere. You draw a circle. <laughs> then you draw a line almost across it, but like... Ooh, like a little smiley face? Yeah. From kind of like the middle, sort of. Like that's the equator, huh? Yep. Ecuador. And then. Do you think they call it Ecuador because it's on the equator? Yes. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, go ahead. I have no idea. Right. So then you draw. I said length all the way. I just say an upside down smiley face that's dashed. Yeah, that. <laughs> Is there an official name for it? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That looks good, though. I like how you're curving it like that. I usually and then dot and then, yeah, there you <coughs> go. That looks good. And then are you going to do the, what is it called? The prime meridian or something like that? I don't know what that one's called. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to look it up. I'd have to Google it. I don't know. It looks cool. That's actually really good. Yeah, cool. And then you have like a radius. Yeah, again, oh, yeah. you can draw that in if you want. But I mean, radius. I don't think we're getting too specific yet. Oh, that's dimensionally that's that's kind of wild so it's coming from the center to there I usually draw it here but it doesn't really matter I mean I can, this is the radius the key with the sphere is like the radius goes to that outside um, in okay. every direction it's the same length awesome cool thank you who's next who's got the cone here I do oh we have a substitute um, for the cone here right well we were gonna have Melissa do it and then now you're going to wait and what's your name well spot and you got to talk nice and loud Mr. Kota, you're still coming up, right? <laughs> okay, so we're doing a cone. Yep, uh-huh. Okay, so I draw an oval. And then... What's funny is every time I eat an ice cream cone, I draw it the other way, but we always draw cones this way. It's very yeah. strange. And then you put a dot right there, and then you just connect it. Okay. And you try to put that dot, uh, like, right above the, the center, if you could. Oh, okay. Cool. How'd she do? Ugly. Melissa, how'd she do? She did all right? Yep. Awesome. <coughs> oh, you didn't add the radius and stuff and the slant height and all that. Well, that that'll be our next video. Huh? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Rectangular prism. This one's hard. Who's doing uh, this one? Harry. Melissa, I was trying to get you on tape. You didn't want to be on here? Just be like, nice job, guys, or anything? Look, She's guys, camera shy. I'm Terry. I'm going to do the rectangular prism. Awesome. Nice and tall. So you drew two bases that look pretty much the same size, right? Yeah. And then you're connecting them. Cool. Awesome. And then sometimes, again, we can shade like the base or whatever. Or dash these lines to make it all fancy like Aureli was doing, but cool. Yeah. And then um, I was just going to draw a different kind of prism too, Wolf a game. triangular one. Wow, I don't even know what that means. Um, so I have a triangle, 
I'm gonna do what you did except carry mine has triangles. So I have two triangle bases, Prism has two bases, and so I didn't dash mine either. And then this is like the, it's laying on the ground, but the bases are the triangles, so that's how we name the, the figure. So we could probably sit here all day drawing other three-dimensional figures, but those are the ones that we wanna try to focus on. A cylinder, a sphere, a cone, a prism, and a pyramid. Mr. Cote, you got you got any last words you want to sing or dance or anything for the video? We good? All right, awesome. See you next time.